One jump. No, let's go. Go ahead. I can't help you. I tried before. The cat is right there. Let's go. Go to the same people that you smoke your weed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out the door, sir. Come on. Come on, man. What? Now play me this one. Play the fuck with me this one. Play with me this one. Play with me. I'm going to get all right. You can, I, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to keep asking. Next to be like a problem. Yeah, come on, come on. This is what I'm going to talk about. Let's get Give us back Look, you don't even understand. I know that when these homeless shelters are asking you to donate your money, they put on a damn good show. But the truth is this. The relationship between homeless men and the shelter's overseers is wildly abusive. When they're courting investors, the face of the company is Caucasian as hell. So professional and friendly and devoted to helping the homeless, if only you would give. And who the hell are all these smiling, caring professionals in these little ads and documentaries? All we ever get to talk to is thugs, thieves, and bullies. You're always under the threat of being kicked out into the cold anytime you dare fail to completely kiss their asses. Then the shelter brings forth its most complacent, moronic ass kissers from their programs to shuck and jive like Bojangles and Chicken George to give credit for everything good in their lives to God and the shelter. And if they had one shred of self-esteem and dignity, they turn to the visitors and say, Don't give these people your money. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, I thought you weren't, weren't done with me. I'm missing some things out of my bag, some really important things, some data that I had on three, uh, 256 gig flash drives. I keep them in certain specific places in my bag. This is really important information. But nobody knew but you. Nobody knew what but me. Where they were. Did you show somebody where they were? That's all that's missing is those? That, now, I'm not trying to make light of it, but, but, no, but excuse me, I'm sorry, time out, don't. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to embarrass you or nothing, please, I, I won't do that to you. You can't embarrass me. Yeah, all right, thank you. Okay, so, I don't do drugs. Yes, sir. All right, I don't smoke cigarettes. Okay. And I don't drink alcohol. Yes, sir. All right, so I got all my brain cells. Yes, sir. All right. I make a habit of putting things in certain places so I know where things are yes. all the time. All right? If I tell you something's missing out my bag, it's missing out my bag. Yes. So I don't know what their motive is. Yes. It could just be that they're, they're 256, hold on, they're 256 gigabyte uh, drives. So you look at them, you know they're worth something. They're missing out my bag. Forget whatever the motive may have been, they're missing out my bag, all three of them. Okay? So is there an incident report or something that I can do? Thank you. You got to go ahead and incident report. Make sure you get them on. You write it down and everything and stuff like that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, no, anytime. I, I um, didn't mean to go there with you. I just want you to um, sign the incident report. But trust me, mm -hmm. go through everything in your bag. I've been through it. I, 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 the reason I'm, I'm telling you is because gonna, cause yesterday, uh -huh. yesterday, mm -hmm. A guy came to me. Mm -hmm. He said he was missing his laptop. Okay. No, no, I'm serious. And he he he, he haphazardly just feel around mm -hmm. and said he was missing it. Okay. By the end of his little feeling around, mm -hmm. he found it. Awesome. He didn't say he didn't say he didn't say I'm sorry. Okay. He didn't say you know what you know. So so I'm just asking. Okay. Just make sure. That you go through the whole thing, and it's just all the nits and cranny is done. He's gonna fill it out. Okay. But make sure you go through so, all the nits and cranny. I keep one here in this space right here, this little pocket here. Yeah. I keep one in here in this little pocket here, mm -hmm. and I keep one right here in this pocket all of them on are the gone. right side. And all of them are gone. All of them are gone. And I've been sitting here for about half an hour, forty-five minutes, digging through this bag. So He's I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm not just gonna have has. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm come to you. Because he, 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 has, he has been looking for a while. That's okay, we'll just fill it out. Ray, you can get him one. He's in the office and stuff. And make sure you get his name and number and stuff, and your name, put it on there. The time. You know. Um, it was there yesterday, though. It's, it's there every day. I don't. Here's the thing. 
I you only put his bag at? Where you put his bag? I only pull them. Who goes? No one goes in there, do this. I only. I tell you, man, he gonna fill it out for you. You gotta open up the. You ain't got none. Close the door. All right, Rob, bring it back in. That's the thing. I don't know what happened. I don't take when I go. It's my fine. We're, we're, we're just gonna say that that it, it, it happened last night slash today. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know that. So he, hear me out. I keep them in there. Yeah. I don't take them out. Every when's day. the last time you? When's the last time you knew they were there? I saw them there. No, oh, okay, I did see them yet. No, I saw them there the night before last. So, we're, so we're just gonna keep. So we're just gonna keep writing the way we the way we read it. I saw them there the night before last. Yeah. There we go. So now this, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go make copies of this. Right. I'm gonna put this in every everybody's mailbox. And the top doll is gonna see this. All right. And what what he's gonna do most likely is he's gonna follow up on it because it's it's not a be, whole lot more I can ask. No, because if it uh, porn things like that, he follows up on it. Thanks a lot. Yep. There we go. That's the spot. Oh, it's just somebody back here. Yeah. 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 So, can I get a copy of that report that was made a couple days ago? Hmm? He, he, he's the one that we wrote the report because three of his flash drives got stolen out of his bag and he told us to write that report. He wants to copy. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. Three of his what? He gave it to Ray, right? Oh, right, here you go. Three of his what? I didn't give it to anybody. In fact, in retrospect, I didn't, I didn't write or sign anything. So technically, I didn't, technically, I didn't really do a report. He did the report. I signed nothing. I did it right in front of him. I said everything I said, and I said, and I told him, I told him what I was gonna do with it too. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of unofficial if I'm not signing anything, though. Show me, show me. Hold on for a second, right? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, Rob. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. I need information pertaining to his situation. He told me about it. Yeah. I told him to write a report. Yeah. Uh, I don't have it yet. Um, I don't know if any other chaplains have it yet. I put, I put one in your mailbox. I put one in my mailbox. I put one in Hardy's mailbox. I put one in Jeremy's mailbox. I put one in Jeremy's mailbox. Huh? Uh, mailbox. Oh, yeah. I left one on the computer. Saved up. Since, since you don't have it yet, how about you give me the paper and I fill it out? And I'll give it to you directly because I'm going to be perfectly honest. As long as I don't write anything and I don't sign anything, this is technically his report. And that's it, it, ineffective. Have a good day. Well, I, I told you, know. you, I told you to write. I appreciate it. He's going to fill it out for you. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to leave it just like that. All right. my, word, my word, my last words to you. I appreciate it. He's going to fill it out for you. For, for you to write it up. It's okay. We'll just fill it out. Ray, you can get him one. He's in the office and stuff. And make sure you get his name and number and stuff and your name, put it on there. The time. Look, okay, right for him. I don't even know why he's in it. I don't know why he's in it either. Yeah, I told you to write it up. So okay, write it up for me. It was never it was never passed to me, so can I let, let me write it? Yeah, let, let me let me let me get a piece of Remember, he, he, needs a, he needs a paper to write or thank you. I didn't write it up. I, 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 I feel like I'm being handled right now. Again, I, I feel like I'm being handled. Anytime you tell me to write something up and someone else writes it up and I don't sign it, I'm being handled. Just, just calling a spade a spade, that's all. I can't write it up until somebody hands me a paper. Provide your own paper. How about that? That's all you have to do. If you want my paper, I give you a piece of paper, but I prefer you to use yours. Since you, right, but since you want to okay, but you, you have an official grievance process on an official grievance. We don't. Grievance. We don't. Grievance. We don't. <sighs> you want to see my grievance process, and you ain't gonna like it. Can you hand me one of the pieces of papers, please? One of these. Let me show my grievance process. 
Um, and you can take this, take this to you and your lawyer, and read the Bible. To me and my lawyer, huh? Well, no, I mean, just, I'm just, not, I'm not trying to be facetious. Right. I am not. Oh, is there an incident report or something that I can do? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta go ahead. Incident report. Make sure you get a one. You write it down and everything and stuff like that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh no, anytime. The paper that you handed this gentleman to write up. Listen, the report, it's, it's a, I understand that Senator Breathless is not responsible for lost or stolen items. Uh -huh. Period. Please keep that. That's yours. You should have had one signed when you checked in. You said we should have put your number here and there. And we should have cut it that and gave you that. If we didn't do that, how bad. But if your paper, if your thing is in there with this sign, you acknowledge that at the bottom. Right. If you didn't look at that, uh -huh. please don't charge that to us. All right, so All right. this means anything of mine that gets stolen. So if I put my bag back there, my keep whole that right bag there. Gets, Just keep that right there. Just keep that right there. That's what it You're says. You're telling me that you guys aren't responsible. We want you to be acknowledged that things happen around here, Sunday breakfast, uh -huh. and if it's lost or stolen, we're not responsible for it. That's yeah. why we have that. I remember, and you acknowledged okay. it. I remember, the, I remember the night before last when somebody's stole, phone got stolen. Y'all brought people up, look at the camera and everything. So can I please get the, can I please get the, the form that you gave this brother to fill out? I didn't give him anything. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. He get his own paper. He, he can fill it out. He knows how to fill it out. That's that's for personnel. I gave it to him in the beginning. But I don't you didn't give it to me. You gave it to him. Ray was right here. And I you said, never Ray. handed me the paper. You handed it to this. I guy. did not hand it no paper to you. Pertaining to him. So then how did he get it? Then? I trust you, man. He's gonna fill it out for you. He went back there like he was about to do. So then if you gave nothing. it to me, then I... I didn't give you anything. Thank you. That's what I'm I saying. I told you to write one up. That's okay, we'll just fill it out. Ray, you can get him one. He's in the office and stuff. And make sure you get his name and number and stuff, and your name, put it on there. The time. I trust you, man. He's gonna fill it out for you. I didn't give you nothing. Did you just say? He just said the paper that I did use is only for us. That's why he's telling you to give your old paper. So that's why I wrote it up. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, brother. I, I, I don't, don't want to talk to you about this anymore. Listen, it's fine. Let him do what he got to do. Don't bother us no more about this, okay? Please don't. Listen. You won't have no chance. I'm trying to tell you. Nobody knew what was in your bag but you. I'm not saying anybody knew it. You don't have to know. You don't have to know what's on it to take it. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. Okay, you don't. That's you. Again, that's, that's besides the point. Talk to yourself about that. That's besides the point. Y'all acting like y'all don't understand the point. Like, like, like. Excuse me. Hey, stop. 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 We're not stop, stop, responsible for your stuff. Listen. That's the point. The point, you want to be is, yes, that's you. the point that I'm saying is, and I don't know how all these people keep getting involved in this, the point that I'm making is, you don't need to know what's on the hard drive, whether it's viable to me, to know that, no. hold on, to know that the hard drives are viable, okay? Did you take the whole bag? The reason why yeah. I'm coming to you, because yeah. he, he, has, he has been looking for a while. He has been looking for a while. He has been looking for a while. And all of them are gone. All of them are gone, and I've been sitting here for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Digging through this bag, so He's I'm not. I mean, I'm not just gonna have has. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I trust you. That's the reason why yeah. I'm coming to you because he, he, he has he has been looking for a while. Of course I checked. I've been checking for the last three, four days. All of right. course I checked, and I checked for like half an hour here. The man said that he saw me sitting here for half an hour checking my bag. Again, I don't like being handled, and I don't like being treated like I don't like. Come on now, I don't like being treated like there's something wrong with me. All right, I left my bag, and, and you guys care and something went missing out of it. Now you're saying that you're not responsible. Now, I thought, for me, what I'm thinking, I'm not, you guys aren't responsible for things lost, so it means if I'm upstairs or I leave something in here, I don't think you mean that if I hand you my property and something gets missing out of my property that you're not, that, 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 that so I mean, that's, no one, that's what you're saying. Man. What I'm trying to say is, in order for that to have happened, mm -hmm. someone would have had to have the code. No one got the code but the chaplains. The code. The code is a lock. No one went back there. I mean, and, and right. you told me, you, you're telling me that okay. it happened the night before. So that means didn't that. Say it happened the night before. Well, actually, you don't know when it happened. I, I said, that, you asked me the last time I saw my drive, and I said it was the night before the last. So it could have been within a 48 hour period. Look, look, all, all, I'm not, I wasn't trying to start any kind of trouble, all right? Something went missing. I was asked to fill out a report. 
I'm smart enough to know that if I don't fill out the report and someone else fills it out, but I never filled out a report. You understand what I'm saying? This but I asked you to do it. Okay. But you didn't. Because this gentleman here was sitting out here filling out the paper. I, I figured I would at least get to sign something. So you I fill out a report, yeah. right? Not, not him. The gentleman who was standing here. The, this brother over here. But he wasn't there when me and you was talking. Ray was. He's the one who filled out the report. Rob was here too? Yeah, He's the one who filled out the report. Listen, listen, listen. He asked him what happened. I'm smart enough to know that if I fill out a report for you and I sign it for you, that means I have whatever freedom I can to retract that report because you never filled it out. I'm trying to be honest because uh -huh. I can be to you. Okay. There's no way of us knowing. No way there is knowing. no cameras. There's no way of us knowing. I, I don't listen. I don't want you to do anything about it. I just want a copy of the initial report. Could you please fill out something yourself? I'll get what he wrote down. If and he I said, don't get if a he, copy of that, I have not checked yet. All right. I mean, this, okay, but that's all I was asking from the beginning. That's that's what this whole conversation was about from the beginning. Can I get a copy of the report? I never asked. I, I want to advise you a moment. You know. I never want you to chastise no, anybody. I, 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 do, I do want to advise you something, you know. Yeah, I'm good. I'm chilling over here. I'm always good. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're, you're asking something right now to follow through. I'm not asking you. No, 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 no. After he told me it was in my box, I need to follow through. Okay. This ain't my normal routine. To, to I, I normally talk to people at 9 o'clock. To do, to do what me and you doing. Thank you very I'm much. ignoring all of this stuff here here because I normally do this at night. Okay. Now, now mind you, that keep that. Please keep it because the next time you come here, that's, that's going to apply all the time. The guy before you that came in right before you the day before I explained to you, he said the same thing. My laptop was in my bag. Chaplain, what happened to my laptop? I said, I have no idea. Just, just, just listen. I have no idea what happened to your laptop. And he checked, and he checked, because he was just doing a feely, feely, feely. And he found his laptop. What's that got to do with me? That got to do with nobody knows what's in your bag. Nobody. It doesn't, I feel like you're almost deliberately missing the point. Hey, listen, forget all that. The initial port, the report that was made, when you get it in your mailbox, can I please get a copy of it? Okay. Thank you very much. All right, make sure, what's your bed number? Bed number 11. Right. Am I going to have it when I come in? Tonight? You may not. You may not. I may not. Because I asked for a report. I'm being handled, and now that I'm trying to get a copy of that, I, I, I'm going to listen to my bed. I had no, 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 I didn't see your bed was going to be long. Could you I, calm down for a moment? You said I may not have it when I come back. You just said that. Because I got to do, I got to unsold all this all day. I'm not going to on purpose not give it to you. I'm about to pull out my pen and write. Could you could you just calm it down? I don't, I, mean, know, really. I, I don't know what I was supposed to take from that. Uh, if I ask you if I'm if I'm gonna have my bed tonight, you say I may not. No, 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 no. no. That ain't your bed. I, I, I don't you said you said the, the sheet. You said, am I gonna have it when I get back? No, oh, I'm sorry. Misunderstanding. You said the sheet. You, you didn't say the bed. No, you hold on. In context, you said what is your bed number? I right. said I said eleven, and then I said, "Am I going to have it when I come back?" So well, you don't do that to me because I'm about to write down your bed about, number. I was talking about the bed number. All right, I was talking about the sheet. I mean, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'm, I'm not. There's a miscommunication here because you're over talking. You don't want to listen. You're, you're you're like this right here because I'm being handled. You're man. not being handled. You're not. Right. I'm trying to be informational. I'm trying to get all the information properly. I don't do this at, 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 at 7.30 in the morning. I do this at 9. And there's a reason why we do this at 9. Okay? Lord have mercy, man. I, I, I'm sorry. All right, I got your bad I, number. We're good. I haven't good. asked anything. I haven't asked anything out of the we're ordinary. We're not going to raise my voice. We're not going to raise my voice. Y'all can act like I'm, I'm messing up all y'all want to. Like you're, you're not messing up. You lost okay. something. I, I'm, 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 I'm dearly like I'm hurt. Hurting. I feel I'm dearly like hurt. Did you? Oh, hey, 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 man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You better let. Hey. Call a spade a spade. All right, spade is a spade. <laughs> I see you, man. Thank you. I pre I do appreciate your time. I appreciate your time, brother. Have a good day.
Who did he say that, 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 that you didn't get to know? You said the chaplain? He said, he said, he said the, the morning chaplain was the last one. He said he'd be in there doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, he allows. Yeah, of course he does. Of course he does. I know that. Yeah. 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 Huh? I don't know yet. I got to figure that out. Yeah, I, um, I'm here on my own. I have to do it. I'm going to shelter. I have to do it. No, I can probably something at the dinner table. Some of my clients, I have an appreciation for that. That was one of the things I just found out. Did you fill out an application today? At dinner, yeah. I don't have an application, so I need to have a question. Oh, yeah, please do. Okay, no problem. That sounds good. It's Sunday about the trash you mentioned. It's uh, 302 Pearl Street. Is that it? 302 Pearl Street, right? It's, it's Sunday uh, breakfast trash you mentioned. They know what Sunday breakfast is. Uh, 302 North 4th Street. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, hold on. 302 North 13th Street. Oh, okay, 302 North 13th Street. Like thinking, I'll be at the front entrance um, on the side. Pearl, uh, P A. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. Yeah, Pearl. Alfred Evans. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure, I was going to say, make sure you tell them that they, 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 they call them someone else's phone. How much medication is, is missing? Like? They, in the bag, I had, I had fucking Adderall. Okay? I had Trazodone. I still have some old Lexapro in here that from, from months ago. Like, I don't take that shit often. So they took the Trazodone and the Adderall. Wow. Yeah, I read all the stuff. Wow. Yeah. I don't think like two or two. Dude, yeah, I just want to dump it. I'm going to report on my smile. This is what's in my bags. I can't do that. Well, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I apologize. It's a liability thing. They don't want to admit that. Yeah, well, here's the thing. They say that when you sign that orange ticket, that means anything that gets stolen, any property that gets stolen, is gone. Hey, I'm not asking you. They're, 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 not, they're not liable. I'm not, I'm not, but, then, but then here's the thing. Acknowledge that. You're you know? telling me that in order for me to stay here, I have to keep my stuff in there. Yeah. But then you're also telling me that if my stuff gets stolen while it's in there, well, like you're putting me between. So in order for me to stay here, I have to get my shit stolen is basically what you're saying. Basically, what? basically what they say that you put the bag in there at your own risk. Yeah. You stay here at your own risk because you got to put your bag in there to stay here. Yeah. We all have to. You gotta put your bag in there to stay here. So you stay here at your own risk. Yep. So a condition of staying here is possibly getting your shit stolen. Yeah. So, to recap, the staff at the shelters get to be emotional and unprofessional and violent and threatening and belligerent, all on the clock, mind you. They're literally getting paid to behave like this. Again, hiring the crazies is a real tactic. I'm not making that up. Us homeless men, living out of bags and suitcases, plagued by depression and despair, ostracization and sleep deprivation. Don't get me started on that official form of torture. We must always be the professionals, calm and tactful and in control of our emotions. Because if we're not... I can't help you. I tried before. The no, cat is right there, let's go. Go to the same people that you smoke your weed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Out the door, sir, come on. Come on, man, what? Well, play me this morning. Play the fuck with me this morning. Play with me this morning. Play with me. I'm going to get it, all right? You can, I, I'm telling you what to do. Right? Keep asking. Next to people, we got a problem.